Meet Olushala Bankole, founder of the Banki's private school in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. It's been operating for nearly two decades. Deeply concerned about the alarming rise in school kidnappings, Olushala implements stringent security measures to protect her pupils and staff. We have CCTV cameras there by the fence, around, and all of that. And of course, we, we also have parents who are um, in the, both in the police force, in the, you know, in the, um, in the army, who also support us in case there is anything. School children across Nigeria remain frequent targets of kidnappings with infamous abductions like the Chibok girls in 2014, the Dapchi girls in 2018, and the Kaduna boys in 2020. And most recently, hundreds of students were abducted for ransom in Kaduna and Sokoto states. Education expert Felicia Onibon underscores the distressing impact of these abductions on Nigerian education system. Parents in some communities are not even align their children to go. So uh, we have some empty schools. And you won't blame them. Public schools, especially in suburban areas, are particularly vulnerable due to inadequate security infrastructure. Previous government efforts like the 2014 Safe Schools Initiative have faltered largely due to poor implementation. However, Security expert Mike Ejofo says the country cannot give up on such initiatives and calls for improved security measures and technological advancements to protect vulnerable schools. That safe school initiative must be reactivated now and with uh, people guarding the schools, fencing the schools, so at least we'll be able to control access to such schools. We also need to improve our, on our technological uh, uh, appliances. With over 20 million out of school children, as reported by UNESCO, Nigeria's education system already faces significant challenges. Experts and stakeholders warn that failure to address the school kidnapping problem is not only hurting education today, but putting the whole country's future to ransom. Kilichi Amekalam, CGTN Abuja, Nigeria.